Hello there, good afternoon, welcome to MK Community Brokerage, my name is Mohammed. Um, in this video I want to show you how to fill out a certification completion of child abuse and maltreatment. Now for those of you who don't know what this is, I'm going to give you a brief insight of uh, what this certification is. Now child abuse and maltreatment are issued to those people that are planning to work with children, ed educators, nurses, doctors, uh, speech pathologists, uh, psychologists anyone that's going to be closely working related to children. Now, uh, this is the certification process. Uh, it's not valid until one of the authorization person signs and approves and puts code and everything. Uh, you white, you have to give it to the state. You have to mail it to the state. Yellow, you keep a copy. Uh, the training keeps a copy and the pink is a provider that's making you do this courses and keep a copy. Make sure you don't lose this because if you do lose this they will charge a lot of, I don't remember the price, I remember it was close to $100 and the certification costs about $35 to $50 so I think to losing it is more money than getting it so be careful do not lose the certification. So you have to complete all items inside this, uh, obviously part B. Uh, is, is you know like they're gonna show you uh, this is the certification proof they, they fill it out so you don't have to touch that part is your part which is this you put your last name your first name your middle name and then you print your address make sure everything's correct your street city and state your date of birth your social security number and obviously uh, complete information if you hold or applying for a professional license your New York State license number if you have it a permit number if not don't worry about it leave this blank complete information below if you hold or are applying for a teaching certificate if you have it then put it down again it's no worries you turn signs and date then that person or provider will put this information down and then that's about it um, you just have to uh, you know if you're applying for uh, address for submitting this form is, is simple uh, New York State Education Department is what you have to put division of pro uh, professional licensing service Give name of the profession and culture, uh, culture education center, Albany, New York, one two two three zero, and your certificate should be included with the registration application envelope with the with the material, uh, New York State Education Department of the Teaching, Albany, New York. I mean, basically that's what it is. I mean, that's how it looks like. I'll give you another sample of uh, certification completed child reporting of child abuse and maltreatment. Same exact thing, just a little bit different. Uh, social security number over here, date of birth. Number three, you fill it out with your last name, first name, middle, man and address, the same exact thing. Uh, number five, obviously, if you have information, for example, professionalized and put it there. If not, leave it blank. Again, uh, complete information below if you're holding for teaching a uh, certificate title if you know what it is then you put it down obviously you sign and date and that's it the other provider of the the, the the place that you're getting this certification they will fill it out so basically that's how you uh, understand the reporting of child abuse and maltreatment uh, certification form uh, like I said this form is useful if you plan to work with children and you have to report certain incidents if something does happen for example if you see a child with cigarette burn marks on her on her, his or her arm or his for or, or his thighs or somewhere that you know you see that that child's been abused and show signs this is where you have to report uh, to the New York State education department if you don't report it you can get in trouble so make sure you you apply to your report anything necessary you're supposed to report uh, make sure you do abide by the rules of regulation so basically that's about it that's what i just wanted to share with you um if you have any other questions common concerns please comment like subscribe i'll be having more educational informational videos coming out thank you again for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it